Hello! It's the Pageant Nerd here, with part two of my series covering the past decade of Miss Universe. In part one, I did an overall recap of who won, who hosted, and some nations that made an impact. But part two is where the real action is. Here's how I've scored all the countries that placed to come up with a comprehensive ranking of the best performers. And without further ado, this is my countdown of Miss Universe Nations of the Decade for the years 2011 to 2020.
While we don't have any title holder nations between 11 and 20, it's an accomplished group nonetheless. Nine of the 10 have had multiple top 10 placements. Seven reached the top five at least once. And in the case of Puerto Rico and Ukraine, multiple top fives and a first runner-up finish each. The outlier is Indonesia. Although it scored only one top 10, it was the country's first ever at Miss Universe, one of a record seven placements over the decade and a contender for most improved nation. Okay, now it's time for the elite squad of Miss Universe's nations of the decade. Here's the top 10 in reverse order. Despite its incredible results from 2017 to 2019, South Africa was ultimately edged out of the top five. Their five non-placements, including 2020, not helping matters. The remainder of the top 10 sees two other title holders from the past decade, France and Mexico, while Thailand and Australia both enjoyed multiple top five finishes. France, Thailand and Australia posted the highest amount of placements in a single decade for their respective nations. Now for the final batch, the cream of the crop, our top five nations of the decade.
And there we have it. Looking at the top five in more detail, we see a mixture of results. Brazil is a model of consistency. Its wait for a third crown grows to 53 years, but Brazil placed every year of the decade, bookending it with top three finishes. Venezuela was up and down, with a burst of strong results in each half of the decade, including its seventh crown, but also two non-placements. Colombia had a mid-decade blaze of glory with four consecutive top three finishes, winning its second crown and ever so close to a back-to-back, -back, as if we needed reminding. USA had a strong first half of the decade, taking a record-extending eighth title, but has featured less prominently in the IMG era. Why do you think that is? Leave your thoughts below. And of course, the nation of the decade. The Philippines had a sustained high level of results, a decade leading six top sixes, including two crowns and eight top tens overall. As you just saw, the Philippines had its longest placement drought between 2000 and 2009, 10 consecutive non-placements, which makes their active streak of 11 off the back of it all the more remarkable. On that, we can't ignore the woman who started the streak, Venus Ra, whose fourth runner-up finish in 2010 wrapped up the previous decade. Interesting how the top three nations here all finished with a top 21 placement. Number four didn't place at all. And regarding future success, these same four nations have had changes to national director leadership in recent years. What impact will those changes have? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That concludes my look at Miss Universe's Nations of the Decade, and what a decade it was. Not only the incredible competitions we witnessed year after year, travelling to some incredible locations. A massive change in ownership midway through. Three times the pageant was delayed and pushed into the following year. And of course, the wrong woman being crowned. What does the next decade have in store? Who knows? But my fellow pageant lovers, I can't wait to find out with you. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you now with a tribute to our Miss Universe nation of the decade, the Philippines. I'll be back soon with my next video. But for now, it's goodbye from the pageant nerd. Final spot, are you ready? And the top 15 is for the Philippines. There is nothing major, major, I mean, problem that I have done in my life because I am very confident. Love my God too. You have a strong mind to to show to people, then you can be Miss Universe. Thank you. primary source and it's a ticket for a better future. Thank you. Mary Jean Lastimosa, Philippines! So if I were to be the one to bring back home the crown again, it would be the best Christmas gift for them. beautiful with a heart. Thank you. I have to apologize. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines.
nation, we are all together. Screaming for me all the way from here. I love you, Philippines. because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million Filipinos! As a Miss Universe, to see situations with a silver lining. Philippines! I only want one gift this Christmas and my birthday. And I think you already know about that. Mabuhay! This is Rabia Oxenio Mateo, all the way from the Philippines.